Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow we're going to Byron Bay with the boys, but we're just going to follow us around today. We've got a meeting with the boys from G'd Up and um, shooting knockabouts with Dan and Kim, so it should be a bit of a giggle for the intro. Been invited, thanks to party, get excited. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are off to have a meeting with the boys from G'd Up. There's two parts of G'd Up. There's G'd Up Supplier, so they look after all the manufacturing, and then there's obviously G'd Up, the clothing company that probably a lot of people know about as well. So we're going to go talk to the supply part of the chain, which is Bowie. There's two brothers Paco and Bowie they're both super creative really really artistic guys man they can paint they can fucking do everything and quite good business people as well so gonna go have a meeting with Bowie he's got a pretty sick office here in Marrickville I just got the G'd up supply HQ plus self assistance pretty cool setup the boys have got here hello hey brother table tennis cool vibes that's cool painting as well oh, check this out hold on bro Making our office look kiddies. Hey, boys. You alright, It's a hazard, bro. Yeah, it was meant to be a um a sauna in here, bro. And we just haven't got around the fucking thing. Oh, a sauna? Yeah. Alright, about to just have a meeting with the boys, get the wheels in motion. Get invited, thanks to party, get excited. It's some body, so erotic. Can you ride it? Body count, what's the mileage? A1. Tennessee, red cup, ass down, face up, that's the way she like it. I just finished up a little meeting with Reese and uh, Bowie, both super smart business people. Uh, they both run multiple businesses as well. I always love going in there talking to the boys because they're always making plans and I lo love those types of people. Alright, just finished our meeting with the G-Dub boys, gonna get those wheels in motion now. Luke is just setting up the um, new podcast studio for dinner for when he comes in. But we have just picked up our merch, so I know. This is Scabe's merch attached to his Punders Club and also this podcast and plus Finchie. Gonna get him some merch as well. I feel like we do merch really, really well and it's sort of like our core essence of how we've actually grown a business. Now we're moving into YKTR Sports. We always want to attach something like that. So it's like every podcast should have this merch attached to it. So about to set up now. Here's the vibes. Uh, camera, camera. Me and him sit there. That's a new podcast stu studio if you haven't seen it. Here's the man. There's my right hand man. Doing Jamie things. Jamie doing Jamie things. Good setup. So we've got two podcast studios now. Obviously we've still got our main one and then this one over here. Obviously the goal next year is to try and get a new space where um, it's just going to be creative. So potentially we'll have like three different podcast studios set up in the room and we can sort of just alter and change between them. I feel like that'd be cool. So that's probably one of the next goals for YKTR Sports. But just waiting for dinner to come through and we're on. Oh yeah. Good what have you been up to? Through, mate, a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. Taking on the world, huh? I don't know about that, fucking hell. One beer at a time. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Stressful? Stressful, but good. Good stress, good stress. Good man, good man. All right, about to rip into knockabouts here. Got the king of rugby league content in, in the building, so let's go. What's love got to do? Hey, got to do with it. I get yeah. a little taste and I'm through with it. Then I send it right back to you with it. Yo, so it sort of hit me the other day, sort of how far YKTR Sports is coming. And it was an idea that I had on my, um, I was flying back from my nan's funeral and I was on the plane and I wanted to create this platform that directly connected players to fans and fans to player. A um, bit of comedy. I didn't really know what I wanted at the time, but I could feel it starting to gain momentum. Obviously signing guys like Finchie to our platform as well. So many aspects about it that I do love. I can feel it starting to gain momentum. It's cool to have people believe in your ideas. Um, it's cool to create opportunities for other people. Um, obviously, like Scope's a friend of mine, and um, he's getting leverage off the back of that, giving Finchie an option as well. Then, obviously, hiring, hopefully, start hiring people out as well. So, it's cool to sort of provide those opportunities and then hopefully make cool, really cool content moving forward. And I know we're kind of just a podcast platform right now, but I see a big blog feature for us, I see a big um, vlog and video content as well. Built off the ethos of connecting player to fan and fan to player. And, um, it's sort of cool to sit back and have people believe in your ideas, but not only that, sort of see us start to gain momentum as well. So um, it's pretty exciting times, and I'm looking forward to it. Plenty of hard work to be done. I don't think we're anywhere near where I want to be, but uh, we're on the right track, and I'm looking forward to it. What's love got to do? Hey, got to do with it. I get yeah. a little taste, and I'm through with it. Then I send it right back to you with it. <laughs> 